Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rox and I am coming to you today with a review for Basketball Wives LA Season 4, Episode 3. I think it is. How y'all living out there? Y'all doing pretty good, you guys? I, I know you can see that I am in a new location. And do you want to know why I'm in a new location? Because I am in Los Angeles and I'm in my dad's car. <laughs> I'm on vacation, so you guys ought to be very, very glad that I'm taking time out of my busy schedule to give you guys this bullshit today. Okay, so yeah, I got Jada in here. She's helping me out holding the, holding my camera and my laptop up because my dad's truck is it's like a... The thing is, you know, it ain't set up like how I have it at the house. So, real fast review, you guys. I will say that I was surprised to see that Shawnee was on the show as early as she was. Because I was expecting her to not show up for a while. Jada, the, the thing is starting to slide, see. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it's all nigger rigged today, you guys. We gonna, we gonna get through it. So, I'm just going to talk about it in the order of things that happen. Okay, so let's get to it, shall we? All right, you guys, so, you know, Jackie, she's still real concerned about this whole meeting that Malaysia had with Doug. They get back to the house, you know, Jackie was just like, what did you tell her? Doug was just like, well, I told her you were loving, caring, loyal, a bit of a tyrant. She was like, that's what you said? Like, you didn't say nothing about she's sexy and she's got a big butt? And I was like, why would he say that to <laughs> Malaysia? I guess Jackie was feeling like she was in competition. Like, Malaysia don't want Doug. Don't nobody want Doug but Jackie, you know, but... But I guess she thought, but it wasn't that kind of party. And you ought to be glad that they wasn't talking about shit sexual. Like, why Why would any of that matter? So he was just like, no, it wasn't nothing like that. You need to relax yourself. Okay, so I guess we didn't got past that. But um, J Jackie is still not really sure how to feel about Malaysia, what exactly is going on. So she says that she wants to meet with the queen of the circle, you guys. And who should that be but your girl, Shawnee? Like I said, I was surprised to see her as early in this episode as she came. Shawnee looks good. I mean, you know, Shawnee looks like Shawnee. Never nothing real super spectacular or exciting there. Just a tad bit played out, but that's okay because she rich and <laughs> I guess she could, she could do whatever she want but yeah I was like girl not the lace dress but you know what it's okay Shawnee has never been the most fashionable so you know we ain't gonna we ain't gonna harp too long on it but the lace though so they sit down and they're just talking and um you know she she's telling her about Malaysia and how you know Malaysia still seems to have a problem with her and she's not really sure why you know she she still really really cares about Malaysia out of all the girls you know Malaysia is the special one and she really wants to mend this friendship however she just can't really understand exactly why Malaysia is so mad at her and Shani was just like you know you just take things slowly you're just gonna have to rebuild the friendship you know you just have to start over so uh, Jackie says okay yeah I, I guess I I can do that with Malaysia she she has no clue that Malaysia is so 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 done but then we switch gears and Jackie tells Shawnee that she is going to give her a party now I don't really know what the party is I guess it's a welcome back onto the TV type of party and Shawnee's all for it oh, actually I think it was Shawnee's 40th birthday yeah I think that's what it was so Shawnee's all down for it and all of a sudden they get on the subject of sex like it's so weird about Jackie Jackie tries to act like like just like when she said oh Jay to cover your ears just like she said that she don't do blowjobs or whatever. And then she talks about all this other stuff. Like, it's so uncomfortable the things that she says. Like, why are you talking to Shawnee about? I mean, when she said that Doug finishes fast, I felt so bad for Doug. So that ain't nothing men want their business all out in the streets like that, you know. So, you know, Shawnee was just like, oh, really? Okay, go get you a young ass man like me. You fool around with these 27 year olds and you ain't gonna have that problem, so... I don't know what to make of Jackie. I always got to be talking about sex and everything, but then try to act like she's the biggest prude. I can't stand them types. Now, Jackie decides that she is going to meet with Malaysia, and Malaysia, you know, agrees. You know, since she talked to Doug, now she's going to talk to Jackie. And to make a long story short, like I said, Malaysia's over it. She told Jackie that she was upset about her making the comment about shooting her in the head when she had just said that her son had been shot. I mean, her brother had been killed, shot in the head. And she just felt like it was just a total disrespect for her and her family. Y'all remember all her ghetto ass East Side cousins was all in that um, audience for that reunion. Jackie 
you know, she backsteps and apologizes and says, you know, that she was mad and she was angry and, you know, shit just comes out of her mouth when she does that. But, you know, she really, really cares about Malaysia and honey, Malaysia is still just not feeling it. I did feel kind of bad for her when she put the flowers down and uh, Malaysia was just like, what, what, what's that for? Like, why are you giving me this? Like, I don't, you know, <laughs> I'm not taking them. Jackie's feelings was hurt because Malaysia, um, didn't want to take her flowers. She was just like, that was like the biggest insult. You know, Malaysia goes outside and I don't know why she's just standing outside. Not sure if the producers told her that she needed to hang around or she was waiting on her car to come pick her up or what. But while she's out there um, and Jackie comes out, you know, Jackie gives her last ditch effort. She brings out the big dogs and she tells Malaysia how before her mother died, her mother was like, out of all them old messy ass hood rat women that's on the damn show with you, you know, Malaysia is special. And that's the person that you need to make it right with all the time. Which, you know, Malaysia always has had a different type of character on the show. I like Malaysia because she's always seemed pretty authentic out of all of the women that's been on the show. So, you know, Jackie starts to tell her and she's kind of breaking down and crying. And Malaysia's like, now what is this? Like, why are you crying? Like, are you serious? Or is this one of the Jackie acts? Because, you know, she already told her, like, you be playing games and can't nobody figure you out. You like all this drama. Jackie was just like, no, I'm, I'm being serious. And, you know, so we just don't give Jackie the benefit of the doubt and think that because um, her mother is no longer with us that she wouldn't lie on the lady and, uh, you know, try to use it for <laughs> an advantage to get back friendly with Malaysia. You know, Malaysia was just like, I, I'm human. I can't sit here and be mad at her when she's crying in front of me and all of that. You know, I'm going a, I'm to a go on and try to give the girl another chance, okay? So, Malaysia, as of now, you know, she still got her guards up very, very high with Jackie, but I guess they're on the road to trying to figure it out, okay? <laughs> what about when Jackie said, I even liked you when you was, you know, when we found out you was LaQuisha. Fuck, we found out about LaQuisha on the very first episode. Remember, that was the reason why Malaysia had to whoop Laura's ass. Remember how fast... <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hilarious, you know. But so she was just like, what does my name being LaQuisha have to do with anything? Okay, I just preferred it. I was like, oh, but bitch, you got that LaQuisha in you. We ain't gonna forget about that. Anyway, I guess Malaysia and Jackie is trying to figure it out. Malaysia lets Shawnee know as much when they go out to get their nails done, okay? They can relate because they're both going through, well, Shawnee's been through divorce. She's already done. Malaysia is in the middle of a divorce, so Shawnee understands what Malaysia is going through, and they can relate on that level. So they go and get their feet done, and they're just sitting around talking. We find out about Shawnee's podcast. I really want to know what could be in Shawnee's podcast. And she seems so boring and blah and bland. She just never has had the, you know, that mm, personality to, I mean, to catch me, my, me weekly on a podcast. But she'll probably do fine on her podcast because she has the money and all of that. So she can put her all into it, I suppose. But I was just like, I can think of a whole bunch of people I would rather listen to talk for a fucking hour or a half hour than Shawnee. The subject of Jackie comes up and Shawnee just um, tells Malaysia, you know, she really does want to be your friend. Malaysia's just like, I'm, you know, baby steps. She says she's just going to play it by ear. She's willing to give Jackie the chance, but you know, she ain't fixing to jump back in it like that. Okay, so that's the whole drama with Jackie and Malaysia. So Jackie has the party for Shawnee. And as these things go, you know it's not going to go smoothly. Because the women all have their problems. I just really honestly don't know what this is with Drea. I don't like it. And I don't even think that it's an act. I really think that Drea is really feeling herself too much. Yeah, we all love a good comeuppance. Okay, and ain't nothing like when a nigga want to pay your bills and move you in his house and, you know, call you a part of the family. But... I just don't like, you know how y'all know how I feel about snobs. And Dre definitely got her foot planted in it. Megan is there, so you know that's already got Jackie's, I mean, um, Dre's hackles rised. They sit around in a, in a circle and they're talking about the problems that they have with each other. And Megan brings up that Patrice is a bitch, you know, and that she was mean to her. And Patrice is like, I don't even know you. I wasn't mean to you. I mean, I had got the same feeling from Patrice. But then I also felt like Megan was putting, you know, 20 on 10. And it was like, it wasn't really that serious, was it? Teddy, you supposed to be holding the thing, man. Y'all see my helper? Mm -hmm. No, she don't want to be on. I'm sorry. She ain't put together just yet. But, um... So, you know, I could understand what Patrice was coming from. I think Megan was just kind of in her feelings. I feel like Megan feels like she's out of, um... 
she's not used to this group of women. She's used to being on Bad Girls Club. I ain't never watched Bad Girls Club. My daughter loved Bad Loves Club, Bad Girls Club at one time, but I guess you know it was the the element was a little different <laughs> on Bad Girls Club. So I think Megan is out of her. She's not comfortable exactly where she is. I don't want to say that she feels over, you know, I just, something is there. She ain't quite in her rhythm with the show yet. So. What show is she in? She's on Basketball Wise now. Megan. You know who Megan is? How, how, who would she go with? She was dating some basketball player. I don't know. They they said it wasn't no name, no known name. She ain't even with the guy no more. But they just still didn't put her on the show. Jada, you ain't holding that now, see? That folks they ain't trying okay so anyway so patrice tells megan that she's fake and then drea jumps in and drea was trying to whip up this argument between megan and patrice and it was just like why are you so in it like that brandy kind of comes to patrice's rescue and was just like listen megan i know you knew around here you just can't quite be so guarded with this women okay with these women you have to kind of you know lower your, your wall a little bit and don't get so offended so immediately because it's not always like that. Maybe you owe Patrice an apology because you just you just really jumped to it too fast there. So Megan apologizes. Patrice doesn't really believe it. But like I say, Megan and Drea kind of get into it. And then we get to Jackie and the fact that, you know, Megan said that they weren't friends and Jackie says that, you know, she's like her little sister. And Jackie was just like, that really upsets me, you know, that it hurts me to my soul because, you know, it makes me look crazy. I was just like, girl, you've been looking crazy for four seasons, so this ain't nothing new. I mean, I kind of understood what you were saying, but I, I honestly thought that maybe they just was acquaintances because Jackie is so fast to say that somebody is like her little sister and that she loves them and that, you know, they hang out and, you know, you might have just talked to each other once or twice at a function somewhere. But I guess in this case, Jackie and Megan did have some sort of relationship and Megan was trying to play it down because when Jackie was doing all that talking, Megan never really interrupted or said anything so then I was just like oh okay I guess Megan is now being called to the carpet and yeah you you really were friends with Jackie even still I don't see what the big problem is other than you know I guess you don't want to come onto a show and just starting off lying so I mean a little bit of a problem I admit a little bit of a problem now this this commercial screening that Jackie has Drea there for I guess Jackie and Drea are good friends again you know like I said they have the strangest relationship love each other one day hate each other the next andrea's there trying to help out with the editing she notices that megan has a bit of a fupa and you know what a fupa is okay well a fupa would be fat upper pussy area sorry jada so yeah you know it's just that little pouch that's right above your cooch there if you have kids we all get that little pouch there. It is it is almost impossible to get rid of that damn thing. So, Drea notices that that's there and that, you know, they need to just kind of edit that out. Either cut the, cut the shot so that it's not so wide and shows her stomach or something. Whatever they got to do, you need to take the foop out. I thought it was interesting that Drea was just like, you know, she has a, like a banging body, but she doesn't have like the silhouette of a woman. And I was just like, ain't this about a bitch? Okay, I guess Drea is a top model now. Okay, because she's a model, you know, a swimsuit model. She's got big titties and little teeny tiny waist. Now she's, you know, I don't see Drea up in no damn Vogue magazines either. So yeah, again, starting to really not like this new Drea. And you guys, I've liked, you guys have watched me. You know, I've liked Drea for the last, you know, all of this time. But this is, I think, Think that this is gonna be in the nail in the coffin for for Drea, which is really, really too bad. Okay, you guys, let's speed it up. Jada's getting hot. Let me finish up. So, Jackie and Megan go and sit down and talk about their friendship. And like I already told you, Megan kind of does admit that, you know, she lied about their friendship because she just didn't feel right talking about Jackie. They were going to talk about her, and Jackie wasn't there, and she was just trying to avoid that type of confrontation. I don't think that's really true. I think she really didn't want to be attached to Jackie right away because, I don't know, I mean, I mean, they probably would have talked about Jackie. They did anyway. So it wasn't like they, you know, it wasn't like her saying that she's not friends with them was going to keep them from talking about Jackie because we all know that they all can't stand Jackie. Jackie was just like, you're going to be my friend. Like, I got your back. I'm always going to be there for you. I'm loyal and all of that. Then you can't be sitting up here lying about our friendship if we, you know, 
if we say we have a friendship, then that's what it is. Megan's just like, I don't even know why she's trying to be friends with them bitches. Though none of them like her. They talk bad about her, but here she is fussing at me and just begging them to be her friend. I kind of agree, but that's kind of just how the setup of the show is. Jackie is always begging them to be her friends, okay? Jackie wants to be part of the in crowd. And then Jackie lets Megan know about the commercial. You know, she's going to have a, a an official screening that Dre helped with the editing. And Megan was just like, okay, well, what does that mean? Like, you know, and she was just like, well, she's going to tell you what she thought. And Megan's like, bitch, just tell me what it is. And Jackie's just like, oh, she's going to talk to you. You know, it's like the build up. You know, Megan's just like, see, bitches is playing games. I was like, I agree. So let me just skip on to the official screen. And I know about Jackie and Drea going to taste the cognac. But to me, that 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 was nothing more than just Jackie letting Drea know that Megan knows that she had some sort of problem with the commercial and that she was part of the editing. Ed to team editing to make a long story short you guys she has the commercial screening um all the girls show up drea gets to telling megan that she saw it and you know she had made some changes and jackie walks up at the same time and was just like oh you, you're talking about the fupa i guess you know fupa fat up, upper pussy area is a is a is a known word because megan was just like oh you saying that i had a fupa and she was just like yeah you had a fupa like i don't like like bellies i don't like pouches i don't like fat i don't like cellulite so anything that's you know there I you know I feel like you should just go and get it sucked out I was doing you a favor I was just like oh just such a snob I mean you were helping definitely so but don't say it like that ain't, ain't no woman around want to know that they got a big fat ass stomach trust me I'll be working with this I'll be trying to hold it in and suck it in and keep it in okay so yeah it's like don't nobody want you to say shit like that to them check it out you are it's the oh, now Making me lose my train of thought. Um. So y'all, I know it's, it's bootleg today, but y'all, my mind is somewhere else. I'm just trying to finish this so I can get it to you guys because it's, you know, it's, I'm in LA and people are already trying to figure out what we doing today. But anyway, you know, once they start talking about the FUPA and then all the girls start laughing again, I think Megan felt ganged up on and so that made her decide to kind of lash back out at Drea okay so she immediately goes like what do you think your man feels about you know your coochie being all over the internet you nothing but a hoe you was a porn star and all of that so then her and Drea start to get into it but it was just like well see it didn't need to even go there I just don't understand why people can be Everybody could be so less confrontational. So Megan immediately jumped to that level. Andrea's sort of just sort of like, ugh, like I was trying to help you. But say it differently is what I'm trying to say. So, you know, they start talking about the clip being fat and, you know, her coochie everywhere and everybody saw it. Jackie, I mean, Andrea uh, calls her a big little weenie. What the fuck does that mean? I was cracking up when she said that. But, um, you know, they had Megan, like, locked into the booth. And Drea was all the way over on the other side. Because, y'all, I finally got to um, to watch the YouTube video of um, Megan's fights. And I was like, oh, Drea don't want it with that bitch, okay? Now, you got lucky with Sunday. But Megan looked like she knows how to throw them hands, okay? She, she, she got them hands real, real tough, okay? So, I mean, I, I bet you I'm here for a dragon. I'm here for Drea to get, you know, I, I shouldn't say that, but I do like Drea, but this new Drea, I don't like it. And, um, you know, maybe it's going to take for her to not be with her man no more than the bitch get knocked back down a couple of pegs. So I don't know. But anyway, that whole scene is going to continue on next week. But as of right now, Miss Drea and Megan look like they fixing to, to have a problem. Hey, you guys, so that's it. Yeah, I got my hair braided. For my vacation and i'm gonna keep it like this for a little while i'm gonna put it in the bun and a whole bunch of little fun little things it's still shaved on the sides or whatever but you know just try just something else but anyway let me get off of here i mean, i'm going to do love and hip-hop this week still not sure when it'll get up i'm trying to stay on schedule but you guys as anybody's guess kind of just have to play it by ear you guys remember to rate comment and subscribe to the channel i'm it's rocks the channel is for its rocks and everything else I do will be in the bottom bar. All right. All right. So I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And I plan on doing the same. Until next time, rock stars. Bye.